Hello everyone. In this section of videos, we are going to see how we can deal with text files, the .txt files in Java. Basically, there are multiple ways you can work with them. There are a lot of different classes available uh, which you can use to read or write to a text file. But we are going to use one of the most effective and easy ways of doing it by using Apache Commons IO. Now, this is according to me the most beautiful thing about Java is its wide ecosystem there are tons of third-party open source applications services tools that can get easily integrated with java which makes our coding life very easy so apache commons io is just one of those so in this particular section we are going to first download the apache commons io files the jar files and we will add them to our java project it's something like we are getting some external intelligence added to our java project which is going to help in dealing with the text files very easily okay and likewise there are other third-party applications and services uh, you can also integrate with java with the same approach that we are going to do it for the commons io so first to download the apache commons io we will be going to this particular url you can just go to google and search for apache commons io download or can just follow this link and it will take you to a page which is apache official page from where if you scroll down we'll see the section from where you can download the latest that is the 2.6 as of today when i'm making this tutorial and from here you can get the binary distribution we do not need the source we just need the binary distribution so we have two types of files a tar.gz and we have a zip file so if you're on windows you can go ahead with zip if you're on mac you can go ahead with tar.gz and i'm going to use this one so just click on it it's not a big file i'll take just a couple of seconds to download then i'm going to go to my downloads folder where the file has downloaded it's a compressed file so i'm going to first uncompress it and if you go inside the folder you will see several jar files over here and then there is a docs section if you go inside there are some documentation available no need to worry about that right now all we need to do is we are going to add all these jar files jar stands for java archive so the intelligence what the apache has built they distribute it through these jar files which we can add it to our project and use the intelligence so it's just a matter of adding these files to the java project that we have created and we have been using so let's go to eclipse and before i go to eclipse let me tell you one more thing about this uh, jar files is that i'm going to keep them in my downloads for now but for you i would suggest create a dedicated folder on your system where you can keep all the libraries because their location is important if you delete them accidentally or if you move them to a different folder then you will see error created in the eclipse project so let's go to eclipse and let's right click on the project now this is the process of adding the external jar files inside the eclipse project so we'll right click on the eclipse we'll go to the build path from the build path we'll go to the configure build path so right click on the project name go to build path go to configure build path and over here we will be in the java build path section and we will be on the libraries subsection here and then we'll click on class path inside the class path we need to add the external jar file now these are the jar files we have downloaded from the external section so just add on the external jar files and from this file browser navigate to the section where you have kept the commons io jar files which we just downloaded select all of them all the jar files and click open so all the jar files which we have downloaded now they are associated with the project now you can see the path right so this path is kind of associated and that's why if you change the path your project will throw the error that's why i'm saying once you attach them once you associate them with the project then do not change the path now just click on apply and close and that's it as easy as that when you apply and close you get the intelligence required now all we need to do is to just create one text file which i have already created so i have created a folder text files on the 
on my documents and I have created a text file just file one and I have added some text over there so what we are going to do in this particular section is to open the text file and read now this is super easy when you use the uh, commons.io files all we need to do is, is to first create the file object so say file file is equal to new file and then provide the path over here before that let me import the file the file class from java io and then over here let me provide the path so the path is this now if you're on windows by default path appears with the backslash and when we use a single backslash java tries to see it as an escape sequence so to avoid that you can add a double backslash or just convert all the backslashes to forward slash that's fine so if you are using windows you might see error when you copy the path of the file and that is because of the single backslash just convert all the single backslashes to either to forward slash or add double backslash just to escape the default meaning of that escape character and to know more about this escape sequence just refer the regular expressions section i think that is the level 10 in the tutorial so that's it we got a file and all we need to do is take a string so it's string x is equal to in this string we are going to read the contents of the file so all we need to do is use file utils and we will use a method that is read file to string which uses the first parameter as the file this particular file object and then the encoding the default encoding for the text file is utf8 that is the default character encoding for text files so all we are doing is using the file utils class from the apache commons io and then this class has a method read file to string which reads whatever text file we are passing on to it and when you use system.out.println x simply whatever characters whatever lines from the file are read we can display in the output or use it for further processing we have already read it inside a string so when you run the program you see the file contents in the output so this is the way simply by using file utils class and a simple method you can read the contents of the file this is according to me the easiest way of working with text files using apache commons io in the upcoming sessions we'll see some more operations that we can do with the text files thank you